Yeah, all right, enough with the marketing materials. We got the phone. What's up, everybody? I'm Noah from PhoneDog.com. There I am. And uh, I'll tell you what. I met with Motorola and uh, some reps from Motorola and Verizon earlier today in San Francisco, and I got a hands-on demo of the Droid, and now I've got one here to unbox. And uh, I think the game has just been stepped up. And special thanks to our friends at Best Buy Mobile who are hooking us up with not one, but two brand new Moto Droids to give away to phone dog viewers who play the One Pod Bandit. So stay tuned for that. After the phone hits the stores, we'll have two droids we're giving away in the One Pod Bandit. It's free to play. It's easy. And you know what? Best Buy Mobile, they have this thing called No Hassle Pricing. You don't have to deal with rebates. You go in, you buy your phone. The price you pay in the store includes your rebate. So you don't have to worry about a form that you're going to forget to mail in later anyway. So when you're shopping for your new phone, Droid or anything else, check out Best Buy Mobile. All right. But enough of me talking about it. Let's get it out of the box so you can see it for yourselves. Just the Droid for Motorola, Verizon, and Google, available November 6th from Verizon in the U.S., $199 on contract after rebate. Uh, here's the phone itself. We'll get to that in a second. Inside the box, and you can see this box is open already. The PR people, you know, they activated it, they put the battery in it and all that kind of stuff. But inside the box, you get... USB cable, you get your uh, snap-on charger there, so it's a charger and a USB cable, and that's what you get. Getting started, driving precautions, product safety and warranty information, there you go. $199.99 on contract, there's your box, here's the other part of your box. You get a 16 gigabyte micro SD memory card pre-installed. So you get do get the 16 gigs right out of the box for $199, competitive, you know, price and memory with the iPhone, but whatever, enough of the comparisons, let's just look at the device itself. Uh, so the first thing, you know, I noticed about the device when I checked it out at the uh, the press briefing, and now here having it in my hand, it's, uh, it's kind of big and heavy, and I don't necessarily, as I said, you know, I wrote up a little first impressions on my way home from the briefing, you can read those on phone dog. I don't mean that in a bad way, even though that sounds bad out of the box. What I mean is it's it's a solid device, it's thin, especially for a QWERTY slider, it's definitely thin. So, um, you know, it doesn't necessarily feel like clunky, but it's solid, it feels heavy in the hand, noticeably heavier than, you know, some of the other competitor devices. And, uh, you know, it's large, it's got a big, a big screen, uh, fairly big room for the keyboard, so it definitely, you know, you feel it in your hand, it feels like a high-end smartphone. It doesn't feel like, uh, you know, it's not plasticky, and you definitely know it's there. So it'll be interesting to see how consumers kind of adopt it, you know, uh, in terms of pocketability and that kind of stuff. Anyway, before we touch the Android to begin, we'll take a little quick little tour around the phone itself. Uh, it's a 3.7 inch touchscreen, 854 by 480, 854 pixels wide. So it's a really large display, 3.7 inches, and, uh, you know, they made a point of telling me 400,000 pixels total, more than that, twice the resolution of the leading competitor, as they put it. So there you go. Uh, touch screen, you've got four touch-sensitive buttons on the bottom there. You've got, on the right panel, a rocker switch and uh, your camera button, with little gold accents you'll see all around the phone. On the left side, you've got your mini USB port, or I'm sorry, micro USB port. 1420 milliamp hour battery, so there you go. And then your micro SD card slot right there, the 16 gigabyte card pre-installed. Battery back in there. Fire it back up. While it's uh, powering back on. Everything's, you know, it's metal and glass. Um, again, it feels solid, kind of a soft touch coating on the back panel here. Uh, you know, metal latches on the battery cover. Everything is definitely, it feels, looks and feels high end. Whatever you think about these gold accents. Personally, I'm not crazy about these copper gold accents, but they're not that bad. I just, I don't particularly like the color. I'd like silver better, even orange. I'm a big fan of orange, but they weren't going to do that, obviously. But, you know, it's still, it's got that, that look and feel of a high-end device for sure. 5 megapixel autofocus camera, dual LED flash, uh, the with Google branding there, obviously. On the top panel, you've got your power button, and then you've got a 3.5 millimeter headphone jack. And then you slide the phone open, and you've got the full QWERTY board, four-row QWERTY board with the D-pad on the right. Uh, the keys aren't staggered. It's a grid. You've got your triple-length spacebar down there. You've got two blank buttons here in the corners, which is kind of interesting. 
dual alt keys, dedicated at key, uh, menu key, delete key, return key. So, uh, you know, there you go. And then your D-pad over here. And so there's a little bit, you know, I haven't actually gotten to type on it with the hard keyboard that much when I was at the press briefing. Um, you can see the accelerometer. There is an accelerometer. The phone's open, obviously, but there is an accelerometer also. Uh, at the press briefing, I, my hands-on time was kind of limited because I knew I was getting a phone to bring back and test out on my own. But, uh, so I have to type on it to get used to it. It's fairly flush mount, a little bit bigger than the click. It doesn't have the same kind of, uh, you know, domed keys as the click does. Um, so kind of more flush mount, a little bit, uh, a little bit larger, kind of that chiclet feel. And then you've got your D-pad over here. I don't think the D-pad will cause too much of an issue in terms of, you know, a big, uh, on the G1 with the chin, it was sometimes a little bit hard to kind of get your thumb, my thumb around, I can't say your, but my thumb around to get to the keyboard. But on this one, I don't think it's gonna be an issue, but we'll definitely see as I use it for a while. So we'll touch the Android to begin and we'll use the on-screen keyboard. We'll set up a Google account. So this is running Android 2.0, and uh, the keyboard is multi-touch enabled. The web browser, I was told, is not, but the keyboard does, the virtual keyboard does recognize multi-touch. Um, so, you know, it's designed, also new algorithm, uh, designed to enhance rapid t uh, typing. So that should be nice because some of the uh, non-multi-touch Android 1.x phones definitely we try to type quickly on them. You know, a little bit of an issue here or there. Uh, I'll set up my Google account. I do have one, but you know what? I'll do that later. Let's skip it. Google location. The new 2.0 Maps has navigation built in, which is huge. Uh, Garmin and TomTom stock took a tumble today. Uh, but anyway, um, so, you know, here's the home screen. And in the press briefing, I felt like, uh, you know, I was noticing much more responsive than any other Android phone that I'd seen, just in terms of how quickly things happen, how smooth the animations are, that kind of stuff, how quickly apps launch. The web browser is uh, enhanced over 1.x with some new features, that kind of thing. Um, we'll show you the virtual keyboard real quick. We're not going to do a full, you know, we'll do obviously a ton of coverage on this phone here and on DroidDog.com or on John Walton running our Android-specific subsite, droiddog.com. Also, beberrydog.com coming soon. Aaron Baker will be at the helm of that one for all your BlackBerry needs. It's cool because, you know, we're not the, the main phone dog site sticking around for sure, but we can get more in-depth with tips and tricks and dedicated forums and all that kind of stuff in these subsites than we can just on phone dog, which we want to keep covering everything that's going on. So, you know, you'll have to let us know what you think of droiddog.com, which is up live now, and beberrydog.com, which will be up live very soon. But I digress. Anyway, uh, the apps are location aware, you know, all the Google services. Here's the new multi-touch keyboard. You go into widescreen mode, the accelerometer kicks in. You can use the multi-touch keyboard there, of course, and then you can slide the phone up and then you get the whole screen with the hard QWERTY keyboard. So we will do a quick search for phone dog. There you go. Pretty zippy. That's on 3G. That's on the uh, Verizon EVDO uh, network. I'm not signed into to a Wi-Fi network right now. And uh, we'll load up Phone Dog. I believe I clicked. I didn't get a status bar though, so let's try that again. There we go. Uh, again, it's a 480 by 854. 3.7 inch touchscreen, 854 pixels wide. Uh, it really looks very nice in person. Um, Verizon, you know, CDMA, EVDO, 3G, high speed data, Wi Fi as well. Um, you've got the Android Market, you've got the Google search, you've got the voice search, 5 megapixel camera, 16 gigabyte card pre installed. Uh, the browser is not, you can see double tap to zoom in and out. So you don't get the multi touch like you do on the HTC Hero but you can double tap to zoom in and out. The zooming, again, I'm just getting this out of the box, but at the press briefing and, and my own, you know, right now you can see the zooming seems to be faster and smoother than any of the other uh, Android phones I've tried. And I've been told that's partially because of Android 2.0, partially because of the processor running the device, and then also there's hardware acceleration for graphics on the device. So, you know, that combination of things, uh, just, just speeding things up for sure. Um, also, DVD quality video capture, what they call DVD quality, but 720 by 480. 
Uh, there's also a new Facebook widget, uh, Facebook app. Um, there's haptic feedback when I'm touching things. Uh, there's a new Facebook widget, Facebook app, like I said, and integration uh, from the get-go with uh, Facebook. So you can sync this phone. It doesn't do the Moto Blur, but you can sync it with your Google account, obviously. And then also you can add a Facebook account. Uh, so if we go to settings and accounts and sync, so I can add an account. I can add a corporate account, so like an exchange server account kind of thing. I can add a Facebook account. I can add a Google account. I can go home. Um, I can go to search. I can do voice search. Phone dog. There you go. Pretty snazzy. Uh, also, the Google Maps with navigation we told you about. Uh, we will get into that in another video. And then also at the briefing, I was shown the home dock and the car dock. And I actually got a home dock, a home dock, a home dock to take with me to check out. Uh, I'll do more on this separately as well because this video is getting, you know, got to wrap this thing up already. It's just an unboxing. Media player. Oh, look, it's a terrible, terrible uh, picture of me behind the camera. But there you go, with a first look at the Moto Droid, the first Android OS phone to run, Android 2.0, the first Android phone on Verizon, and Motorola's second Android phone. It's your uh, pre-release look, unboxing, hands-on, from me, right there, Noah from PhoneDog.com. Much, much more on the Droid, on PhoneDog.com, and over on DroidDog.com. And uh, like we said, I think we may have a couple of these to give away on the One Pod Bandit, which is pretty awesome. We can make a nice little uh, end of the year present for you or, or somebody you know if you're lucky enough to win one. So go ahead over, sign up to play. Um, we're going to have a lot more on this device, all kinds of dogfights, all kinds of stuff. Uh, and I think you're going to see it all over the place with a huge media campaign coming up soon from Verizon and Moto. Uh, but anyway, there you go. Much more on phonedog.com. Again, available November 6th from Verizon. $199.99 on contract after rebate. Doc sold separately. I'm Noah. Thanks for watching. We will see you later. Oh, there I am in the reflection. Bye-bye.